Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into all-in-one applications. So applications that can do everything a task management application can do or a calendar app and a note taking app or all blended into the same application. The good thing is that you don't have to use multiple different applications to uh, actually achieve things. But on the other hand what you lose is actually uh, the fact that a pure task management app or a pure calendar app is a lot better at being a task manager or a calendar compared to applications like this. But we are going to go over some options because I know that a lot of people do not like to have multiple different applications and would rather actually have everything in one application to reduce context switching. And the first one is Notion. And Notion has become more of a team application with the introduction of home, having inbox and uh, just feeling more like a project management application. It has a its own calendar now as well but you can use this da these databases as your way to uh, schedule tasks and do calendar things. You could also just use the calendar app but you can also use uh, basic databases like this uh, in list views or Kanban views to be able to accomplish your tasks. You can also use it for uh, notes or even for uh, books and podcasts and uh, notes on your books and podcasts. So everything depends on how you want to set up the application. But um, uh, what's good about Notion is that it is highly customizable. On the other hand, it has a learning curve. So you just have to figure out whether or not it is worth your time. The next one is uh, also a really versatile application. This is uh, Obsidian and the way Obsidian works is that in order for you to have all of the things you want, so to have this all-in-one application, you actually have to use uh, a few plugins. So the way uh, Obsidian works is that all of your files are stored locally on your device. Uh, so you own all of your files. That is something people care a lot about. but more importantly, if you are going to uh, make this app more versatile, you have to use what's called the plugin ecosystem. So people build plugins uh, in Obsidian uh, to make it more customizable. Uh, and that's what you actually have to use in order to get good task management inside of the application, to get databases, Kanban boards, uh, and uh, have all of the different uh, views and all of the different things you would want to have inside of a uh, all-in-one application. It has uh, a canvas and a graph view which is things people do like. It is great for long-form writing but it is also great for um, things like task management and project management. What you lose is the ability to cooperate with others and to have multiple people working on the same thing at the same time. But if you are were, uh, looking for an all-in-one application for just yourself, Obsidian is a great choice. Of course, uh, there are possibilities with shared vaults and things like that, but it isn't as good as something that uh, something like Notion, for example, or some of the other apps we will touch on later. But what's good about this is that it is really fast since all of the files are stored, lo stored locally and uh, even better, it is really, really customizable using the plugin ecosystem. But again, you will have a huge learning curve to this. Another application is AnyType and one thing that I should mention about AnyType is that it is really early days for AnyType. It is still a beta product so they are still developing it and today for example I wasn't able to open the application to film this video so I would just had to jump on their website in order for this to uh, in order uh, for me to show you how this application works. So that is something you will have to keep in mind is the fact that uh, it is really early days 
for any type there will be bugs there will be problems this isn't the first time i have experienced the app not opening properly uh, but uh, in the end it all uh, will become more stable uh, one thing with the spira alpha new applications is that they are unstable and that is just something you will have to keep in mind this is uh more like a blend between Obsidian and Notion. So think Obsidian privacy local storage with uh, Notion's abilities for databases. Again, highly customizable just like Notion, but a huge learning curve. And it is also an object-based note-taking app. So everything is an object, which takes a while to get used to. I have a few videos on any type if you would want to learn the application, but simply put this is a privacy focused application that gives you the ability to create your own workflows your own databases and functions quite similarly to notion except that it is local so it is faster and you lose some of the privacy concerns you have in an application like Notion. This is Tana and the way Tana works is that you have these daily pages uh, which can function as an inbox just a place to write things down but using tags uh, which are called super tags inside of Tana you get databases and these databases make Tana function as an all-in-one solution for your productivity you can create to-do lists you can create ideas uh, or databases for your ideas and project management inside of here like i've done uh, you can add things like due dates you have calendar integration with gcal i'm guessing that uh that uh, Outlook calendar will come in the future but this allows you to take notes to uh have your to-do list to have calendar uh, integrations and calendar functionality and it also has an AI chat so where this is different there are two major things uh, compared to all of the other applications the first one is that this is an outliner so everything is a bullet point and you can nest bullet points within other bullet points but even more importantly this application focuses a lot on AI and it is uh, one of the more pricey options on this list this will cost you uh, either 14 or 18 usd depending on uh, whether you pay monthly or yearly and that is because it offers a lot of ai so you have the ability to chat with your notes you have the ability to have a meeting assistant that can join your meetings and take notes for you so this is more of an i would call it a uh, assistant application and not just a note taking or all-in-one application it offers a lot and that is probably why it is as pricey as it is but in general uh, it is a great application it also has a learning curve to it but i would say that it is easier than something like any type and obsidian uh, and even notion to learn uh, that is just my personal uh, opinion the problem with this is that it uh, doesn't have as many youtube videos as some of the other applications out there like notion uh, or obsidian uh, but you can quickly get the hang of this application and it is great for uh, as an all-in-one solution to your productivity next up we have clickup and clickup is also one of these older ones this application is i would say that if you every feature you would think of inside of a productivity application clickup probably has it it has everything you could ever dream of from home to inbox to docs creating your own uh, dashboards having notes having uh, lists for your different tasks having calendar views on those lists just look at the amount of views you have right here and you can embed things as well just a bunch of things you can do inside of this application it has an ask ai feature just like notion and tana has as well so you can chat with the things inside of your clickup you have uh, the ability to uh, add tasks see your tasks create your own dashboards for a home page uh, so a bunch of opportunities in this application uh, it is 
great, but it can feel a little cluttered uh, if you have a lot of information here. What uh, ClickUp is probably worst at is actually uh, the note taking. They have something called ClickUp Docs, uh, as you can see right here. But I wouldn't say that ClickUp Docs are any good for note taking compared to a lot of the other things we have. So you can have this, uh, I would call it uh, a notebook structure uh, like this right here. So you can have this, uh, but it isn't as good as uh, at organizing your notes uh, as some of the other applications on this list. On the other hand, it is probably one of the best at organizing your tasks. It does an amazing job at task organizing. And if you work in a team as well, this is probably one of your best uh, choices uh, out of every productivity app. This is a pure project manage uh, manager and a lot of people are using it for personal use as well. They have a generous free plan so you don't actually have to pay in order for for you to use this application and it has as I said a lot of different features. It even have has whiteboards in here uh, but uh, it can feel a little cluttered at times with having this many things inside of it. But uh, in general, I think it's a great application, especially if you are more focused towards tasks and less towards note taking. It is also quite versatile, um, but uh, I would say that it is a bit more structured than something like Notion, Obsidian or any type. So this is also a great option for uh, your all in one application. So we have yet another project management application inside of here. Uh, this is called uh, Taskade and Taskade is quite similar to Tala when it comes to the way you take notes and the way you write things because this is also an outliner application. But it also compares to ClickUp in a way because it has a lot of different views. They have a second brain template where you can have inbox, weekly reviews, tasks, and things like that. They also have an AI to help you organize your different projects. So another uh, application that is really AI heavy. I would say that this can work as your project manage, uh, manager and your all-in-one solution, but uh, I would probably say that this is a little better for uh, teams uh, compared to individuals. Uh, it has every view you would probably want or need or <laughs> every view you would not need as well. Um, so uh, it can give you your tasks in multiple different ways. Again, I've struggled to take notes inside of something like this. I don't think that it is as good as a note taker compared to a lot of the other applications, but it is great as a task management app or a project management app, especially with the AI to help you plan out your tasks and it help you just get a hang of how you would uh, how you would do and finish a project. We have automations inside of here. We have tags. Uh, search isn't too bad inside of an application like this, which is great because compared to the other applications, this uh, struggles even more with organization. So uh, search is quite good inside of this uh, and. In general, I would say that this is tailored very much towards those who uh, work a lot of uh, on their tasks and only take short notes that are for their tasks or projects. Then I would recommend uh, these applications or if you are a small team looking for a cheaper solution, this is also a great option. Let's say you want a productivity application, you want an all-in-one application and a way to just um, have a control of everything uh, and look at everything uh, in happening in your life but you you don't want to spend a lot of time learning an application and you don't want to spend a lot of time um, 
organizing and having it as a way for you to procrastinate, which a lot of the apps like Notion, Tama, Obsidian can feel like from time to time, then Tuse might actually be the application for you. So this uh, is a little different. It, it, it feels like an outliner application, but basically the way uh, this works is that you create lists with notes uh, or bullets underneath those lists. It can be paragraphs as well, but the way this is organized is through lists. You have tags as well, but I've actually never used tags properly to organize inside of this application. You also have the ability to publish your um, your notes or your lists to what's called Two's World. You have a graph view inside of here as well, which I know a lot of people uh, like. My graph is actually getting quite big. And this is an application I use on a regular basis, mainly to uh, organize my tasks. But as you can see, it can be used for note taking as well. You have a calendar here, which shows you when you have taken notes. So as you can see, I. Uh, take a few notes every, almost every single day. Right now, these weeks right here, I have been on vacation, so it has been a lot less notes. But um, in general, it uh, is a simple application, so uh, a lot easier to learn, but uh, it doesn't make it any less powerful. So you have the ability to see your week like this. So you can drag things and drop them somewhere else uh, to uh, have them for another day. Uh, I could choose to set a reminder. I won't because this is just something I did to test. Um, it is quite, uh, as I said, quite easy to use. And it makes sense to a lot of us having uh, having it set up like this uh, as a week view. We can go back and forward between weeks as well. Um, so I actually have a reminder for when I am starting at uh, work seven days from now, vacation is over. But you have uh, the ability to take notes, to have a calendar view which uh, with the daily pages and a home view which shows you everything from upcoming reminders, which is what I use as a quote-unquote calendar. Uh, and it isn't as good as having a regular calendar, but it actually does the job. Um, and this uh, right here that allows you to... Um, see your week and your tasks in a week and you have to do's here as well. Uh, so a lot of great things here. You can integrate your calendar inside of this as well using the twos application. You can integrate your calendar if you want to use the calendar integration. But um, this one I would say is the simplest app. So if you're just looking for something to help you remember things without a huge learning curve and a way for you to procrastinate, this might be the application for you. And it is actually free to use as well. So that was all of the applications I had for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.